Hi, this is the Plumeria lady. Well, with some bad news. These Plumerias that I soaked in water about, oh, I don't know, I'm gonna say a month ago, um, didn't do well. Soaked them for a couple of days, put rooting powder, and put them in a pot. Um, they did not do well. Look at this. Look at the end of this one. Look at this. Can you see that? So, that was a failure. However, the tip, you can see these particular parts are still good. So what I'm going to do is plant these three and see uh, if we can get um, a new plant out of it. Same thing happened to these. So I've cut them off. Let me show you here. If you recognize this, look at that. So this experiment did not work. And here's the third one. And you can see that. What a mess. Look how ugly that is. So, uh, but now look here. This has a really strong tip and some new leaves. So I'm going to cut that back. Let's see the bottom of this. I'm going to cut that back. You can see it's a little brown. So I'm going to cut up to where I believe the part uh, is good. This one now, gone. Look at that. Look at this. So the other thing I'm going to do is not plant them back in the same dirt. So that dirt I will put somewhere else. I'm not going to use it. It may be infected and so that one will be done. Now here's another one that, actually, that also got the same treatment and you can see that it was just too much for it. So even though it has new top, a new top here, the plant itself, and I'll, let's see, has a little baby and put, while it has roots, won't come out of the dirt. So I will check on that one and see. This was the other one. So these, soaking them in water and rooting them, look at that, did not do well at all. So on these, we're going to start over from this particular one from about this part here. And we will keep our eye on it. Um, I'm not sure if it was because we had a heat wave uh, and they didn't do well, but they did not do well. However, here is one, look at this, that was planted in July and it is really doing very well. Here is another one I'd like to show you. Look at this one. This one. Nice and strong. You can see the trunk. Looks good. Matter of fact, it's getting, looks like it might be getting an airflow. We'll see. So there's that. I have another one from July this one and you can see how well this one is doing there you go looks very good nice and green there's the interior if you can see that part of my fingers um, this is one though I just cut it's a pretty in pink we'll check on that it's ready and here's another one that we planted in July and it's doing really well. So we will continue to monitor those uh, that I tested, which again, in my view, did not work. Um, I spoke to a um, educator from the University of Hawaii and she really didn't if you will, in her view, like the uh, soaking in water. They let them dry, they put them in the planter, uh, and then they just go from there. So I'm going to show you here the plumerias that I have in this area, which makes it a great area to work because it's cool here. So you can see how well these are doing uh, and I 
these are my favorite. I'm going to just harden the mess and getting ready for the sale. But here are some that I, again, like to call pretty and pink. I stuff, let them dry for a couple of days at the tips and then plant, didn't actually plant them, but they're put in a container with dirt. And these will be on sale um, this Saturday. So enjoy. Uh, we will uh, continue. But again, this was from the experiment uh, from an earlier video. So I hope it's helpful. Any questions, by all means, you can get in touch with me, Plumeria Lady 101 on Facebook. Have a great day and happy planting.